Philip Bayou is a Bitonad buyer and comes from Simbu province. He ends his living through the sale of Bitonad. Each week, depending on the demand, Philip and other buyers travel the Hiritano Highway to buy Bitonad. <laughs> They travel in groups and each carry close to 6,000 kina each to trade for betel nut with villages along the Hiritano Highway. It costs Philip an additional 1,000 kina to pay people to invest, pack, and transport the betel nut bags back into Port Moresby. In Port Moresby, Philip's wife Maria sells this betel nut at a wholesale price. The money she earns is used to pay for a children's school fee and other necessities. Three or four boys want to help me. The sort of stuff I got a bag when I'm actually the place come. So I'm paying this means I get commission. Depend on how money you're looking for market. But the Bayou couple are at the old sale level. There are resellers who buy betel nut and sell at retail prices. Kanage Paulus is a retailer and faces a different level of challenge in getting his supplies. Now the market will sell him up. Seven, seven, now five, five, six, six long, ten kina, big blah boy. Or legally get more sell him long, uh, six, six long, five kina. Now, now me sell him boy or same, up boy me cut him, now me sell him long, one kina. And the people who are affected the most are the consumers who end up paying double the normal price. Awesome. price going up, I'm normally me just spend him two kina low. One blow mouse and by me, I was a misspending two guineas. So I'm as a middle law, approximately low. One day, me can spend him 30 to 40 guinea. Now, I'm a man okay, boy, I'm a city time. What are you sort of cut? Oh, no, not big boy, Muslim. Full boy, selling, but most to get up, Muslim. Half boy, Muslim. Meanwhile, there are restrictions on the sale of betel nut in Port Mosby, and the National Capital District Commission has selected specific areas for betel nut trade. Maima David is responsible for betel nut trade at Saraga, where close to 300 betel nut bags are sold in a day. David explains that there are procedures in place to assist all parties involved in betel nut trade. Uh, all bags are coming, and all three blow, four blow load, all car number, all dining, especially all bus. Now even all little all ten sitters, also I come on them all big boy now, all even daga, car up to him also I come now. And me daily in blazer stand look him since last month. Um, day one blow market the opinion in blazer look him. Um, or got a boy bag or even daga come inside them before dark him so finish. Bethel nut trade makes up a larger proportion of the informal sector in Papua New Guinea, and authorities are working within their capacities to ensure proper incentives are in place for betel nut trade. Same now, now I'm able to start for first, now I'm taking three weeks now, we'll start long. But I'm able to start all winters now, all low sellers, all going to come in. No one will have a problem, for example, I'm going to be able to do it. National MTV News.